What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. My name is Lloyd. Today we're going to be talking about why women lose interest at the start. So if you're going out to a bar, club, social event or whatever, you walk up to a girl, you introduce yourself at first, she's you know very happy, she's smiling, she's very friendly, and then slowly but surely she starts to kind of like look around, she, her answers start getting shorter and shorter, um, and then the conversation just kind of dies out, okay? Uh, why is this happening, okay? You know, what could you have possibly said during that period of time uh, to make her not like you? Well, it probably wasn't something you did, it was probably something that you didn't do, okay? Because when I'm going out with clients, students, uh, and I see people at the bar doing this as well too, if I see my clients and my students talking to girls, I see this very frequently, especially at the beginning of the program, I tend to see this a lot, um, where they walk up to a girl and they have this happen to them. But when I do it, when I walk up, I can keep them interested. The girls are really excited. They're happy to, to talk to me and hang out with me. And a lot of times they'll be following me around, asking for my number and you know possibly what I'm doing later. Okay, so why, why is there such a big difference between me and my clients and uh, some of the other guys out? Well, I know exactly what the difference is because I used to be that guy too. I used to be the guy who would walk up to a girl and you know, she wouldn't be interested, well, she would be seemingly be interested at the beginning, but then very quickly it, that would turn into disinterest, okay? She was looking for something better or she was you know, getting bored or, or, or not really with it, okay? And in this video, what I'm going to talk about is I'm going to talk about why this happens. That's the first thing. Why is this happening? Then I'm going to talk about what I do and the step-by-step -step process to be able to keep them interested. Uh, and then I'm going to show you an example about how, um, a real life example about when this has gone down perfectly. Okay. So before I get into this, if you guys are looking to get trained by me one-on-one -on -one in this sort of stuff, fill out the form down below. And if we feel like you're a good fit for my coaching program, we'll send you an email back. Okay, cool. So let's talk about why the women are getting disinterested, okay? Well, it's probably because they're, it's a little bit of a combination of them getting bored or they're just not really interested. Um, the reason why this happens is because, you know, women are going out looking for someone to give them an experience. And if you walk up and what I see a lot of times guys do is they'll be looking to the girl for answers. They're looking for her to have a reaction. They're looking to her for what to do next. And as soon as you start doing this, that's not the man to woman vibe that she's looking for. She's looking for a guy to kind of sweep her off her feet, to like bring her on an adventure, to bring her an experience. And when you walk up and you start staring at her like that, you're not doing that. You're not providing her the value that she's looking for, okay? If she feels like, you know, she's just gonna be standing around and she's gonna have to, you know, bring on the brunt of the conversation, She's not gonna do it. Like she's gonna go back to her friends and have a better time there. So if you walk up, basically, you need to provide value. You need to provide something that she's gonna be interested in. And if you write down like a list of things, all the things that you think that you can provide for a woman that she can't get easily from somebody else or from herself, and that list is very short, well, then you should probably think about expanding things upon that list. And keep watching this video because I'm gonna give you some things that you can do right off the bat, okay? So the way you provide value to people, especially when it's in a social environment, like a bar or a club or something, is fun. That's the biggest thing, okay? Um, and a lot of times, too, you can provide uh, some sort of entertainment you can provide some sort of uh maybe if you're rich you can provide that too but you know <laughs> i'm not here to like advocate you guys spending all your money to try and get girls to like you that that in the long run that doesn't really help you okay too um looks can help too but at the end of the day i see good looking guys on my program struggle with this too guys that are way better looking than me um and like i said i used to struggle with this in in the past too so you know I'm, i look pretty much the same as i did before um, it's just the things that I do that are different, okay? What I'm really good at that a lot of other guys are not really good at is I'm really good at leading people to fun, okay? A lot of times a girl is looking for a guy to lead her to an experience, you know? See, ever seen that Disney movie Aladdin where he's singing, I can show you the world? That's like the perfect thing right there. He's literally taking her on a magic carpet ride. So I'm gonna explain to you how you can take your future girl on a magic carpet ride as well while you're out. Okay, so when you walk up to someone, the first value that you can provide for them is good energy, good, positive, 
fun energy. And that could be down to just you talking to her for a little bit, teasing her, smiling, having good body language, being confident in who you are, because if you're confident, it's more likely she's gonna wanna go on that magic carpet ride with you. If you're being hesitant, insecure, she's probably not gonna wanna hang out with you. She probably doesn't think that you're gonna be able to provide her with a good experience, okay? Or protect her for that matter. So what I do is I walk in, have good energy, tease her playfully, have fun, and then a lot of times I'll try and move her to a different location, okay? Being on an adventure means that you're gonna go to different places, you're gonna have new experiences there. And it could be just as simple as like, hey, let's go to the bar and get a drink. Or hey, let's go, let's check out this place back there. Um, or let's go to the dance floor, or something like that. It could be very simple as that. Now, one thing that really helps is if you know your area really well. So when I was in San Francisco, I knew about all the after parties, I knew where all the good places were to go out. If we were at a bar, I knew there was like four or five places around that were pretty cool, depending on what she was into. If somebody came in there and didn't know the area as well as me, I could easily provide them with a good time. And I frequently did this, even with groups. Like if it was a group of people hanging out and they were kind of just like trying to decide what to do, I'd be like, yo, come here, let's, we're gonna go to this bar, it's gonna be awesome. Um, and it's, I told them all the stuff that's there, and because I said it was such confidence a lot of times they would follow suit and you can bet that if there was one or two people one or two girls in the group that I thought were cute they'd know who was leading them there they'd know who was kind of the guy that everybody was following that's a very attractive position to be in so if you know your area that helps the other thing that you can do is you can introduce her to other people so move her around take her to different locations introduce her to other people as well too so if you're out and you got friends that are fun basically I like to bring girls into my group I'm like hey come be my friends come on come on so we go in we meet some of my friends me and my friends have really good funny banter between each other we like to roast each other all the time so i'm bringing her into my world and kind of giving her this fun experience and a lot of times like the women love to see guys just kind of like roasting each other and being funny so uh, that's a really good way too and then she sees you have cool friends as well so that'll really help you now if you went out by yourself just start meeting people. Like I do this all the time. Like I'll go all by myself frequently and I'll use the first two hours to meet a bunch of people. So then by the time I meet a cute girl that I like, I have a bunch of people around me that I know that I can introduce her to. And she's like, damn, he knows all these guys. He's taking me to all these cool new places. Like this must be a really awesome dude. Like I wanna stick around him. I wanna hang out with him. I wanna get his phone number. I wanna see him in the future. Like all of those things are happening to you, okay? Or sorry, happening to her. Okay, um, and there's also fun things that you can do within the venue that you're at. Like um, in San Francisco, there were certain bars that had like a pinball machine, like a photo booth, like a dartboard. They had like drinking games there. Um, you know, there's a lot of fun things that can happen. But if you're just there, introducing her to people, having funny conversations, telling her awesome stories, those things will provide her with a really good experience. And if she attributes, so like if you do one cool thing, she's gonna be like, oh, that was a cool thing. You do three cool things in a row, she's gonna think that you're cool and an interesting person as well too. So that's one thing that I would recommend. And look guys, if you are having trouble making friends, I have a Facebook group exactly for this purpose where you can meet like-minded guys. Um, and also too, I can answer questions a lot faster on that Facebook group as well too. So if you're interested in that, take a look at the link in the description below. Okay, so the way this works out perfectly, and I hopefully you guys have seen kind of the examples that I've given you, is you basically walk up, you tease her pretty well, um, you know, you've, you're funny, you have good positive energy, then you lead her to a different location. Let's say you, t you take her to the bar or something like that and get a drink there, um, or maybe you take her to introduce her to some of your friends or something like that, and she, she meets some of your friends, she sees you guys all talking together, she's in a new world where, where you're, you're the basically the, I guess the center of her attention because you brought her in there. Then you guys go to a different bar, you meet some more people, you have a good time. Like this is the kind of night that a lot of people dream about or a lot of people when they look back on it, they say, oh, that was such a good night. We did all this cool stuff. We did all this crazy fun things together. If you provide her with that, <clears throat> sorry. If you provide her with that experience, there's no way she's not gonna be attracted to you. There's no way she's not gonna wanna hang out with you, for sure. So, um, if you're in this position, that's how you provide value right from the beginning, right from the start, so she's not gonna get bored, she's not gonna be looking around for uh, other things to do because she's gonna be interested in you. And yes, this can be difficult sometimes, and if it was easy, everybody would be doing it, man. So developing these skills, learning to have fun by yourself is a huge part of this. If you can learn to have fun by yourself, it's much easier to bring somebody else on the adventure with you. So if you're just starting out, 
figure out how to have fun with yourself, write down the things that you actually enjoy doing. I enjoy meeting new people. I enjoy going to new places. I enjoy talking and telling cool and funny stories and teasing people. These are all things that, I'm, that I have fun doing, so I do them a lot. And when I bring somebody into that environment, well, they have a fun time too. Remember, if you're able to do this, you're gonna give a woman a good story. And giving her a good story is gonna make for a great relationship, however long or short you choose to make it, okay? So women are all about this story. Remember that guys are visual, women are about the story. All right, that's all I have to say about this. You guys have made today, consider subscribing. If you're looking for my live training program schedule, look at it in the bottom, uh, in, the, in the description below. If I'm coming to a city near you, please put something there to say that you're gonna come. Um, if the city that you, that you want me to come to isn't listed, write it down. If there's enough people that want me to come to a city, I will come there. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.